Hey guys, welcome back. I got another news video here for you today. This is going to be for the JP data download that occurred yesterday, yesterday afternoon. I was going to do it yesterday when I got home from work. I just wanted to wake up, try to wake up early. Beautiful day. It is like 72 degrees. It's sunny. It's like a nice light breeze outside. And I'm about to go enjoy the hell out of that day, of this day. So um, let's go ahead and do a quick review. Tomorrow's going to be rainy, so I'm going to do a full... Like, everything that I've missed, I'm probably just going to sit here for at least, like, six to seven hours and record every single video of things I've been talking about for the past two weeks. Uh, so, we got that coming around. So, stay tuned. I'll probably be doing double drops for the next couple days. So, here we go. We have the part two of the Uki Uki campaign. There's 11 new events for the information. Uh, let's see. You have the missions part two. Details are below. We'll talk about that. We have the new epic battle rise. Otherworld challengers. Gotcha. Now, I did mention this in yesterday's video. So we do have the Otherworld characters, Otherworld tournament that's available on the JP side. We are going to talk about that in a minute as well. I have the characters information up. There were some changes. Now, I know some of you guys, or at least that what I've been seeing around the Facebook page, is that a lot of everyone is pissed off because they feel like the global site got a chef. I don't know. I haven't really like made up my mind on how I feel about that yet, but we'll talk about it. Gotcha, where LR Mighty Mask is featured. So we have an LR Mighty Mask uh, Gotcha that's available. Um, new story event, Apple, uh, the actual challengers. I guess a story event is here as well, obviously. Um, low class warriors, Raditz Pride is available. Wrath of the Dragons available. Super Warrior Slam Victory Will Be Mine is available. That is the Bio Broly, I believe. Genius Balm of Battle Prep, which means there's going to be a new world tournament coming around. 24th world tournament. Yep, there it is. Cell Perfect Form is the prize. So there we go. We finally got a new cell for those of you who have been waiting for him. I don't know how well he's going to be. We'll have to check that out. Adventure of Gratitude Returns and Bizarre Rabbit Mop. Um, for story events, clears a story event one, five, and ten times. You get a whole bunch of Hercule statues. Clear a stage within two minutes ten, uh, ten times. Clear a stage without taking damage ten times. Clear a stage without using any items ten times. And clear a stage with only using super attacks ten times. You get a whole bunch of Elder Kai, well, the sleeping Elder Ka Kai's, the LRs, the ones that are, not the LRs, the SRs, the ones that only give you a 30% chance of increasing the super attack. When you clear all those missions, you get 10 Dragon Stones. So pretty much, I mean, just a a bring a Fusions team. <laughs> uh, bring a Fusions team onto any uh, story event, and you'll pretty much just be launching super attacks the entire time, and after running it 10 times, 230 stamina, if you do one of the more recent ones, um, you're going to be able to clear all these without a problem. You can probably do them all in one day. Uh, no, no damage also means no damage from the map or HP reduction from performing your own super attack. Using healing items will not count as no damage. Okay, so make sure you don't take any damage. Uh, super attack condition also means with counters or attacking any other members other than the boss. For example, a counter attack has to be a super attack to also count towards the missions. Oh, okay. So yeah, don't bring anyone who counters. So if you bring a few, well, I mean, you wouldn't bring Vegito on a Fusions team. So yeah, you should be fine. Just bring a Fusions team, you should be fine. And make sure that you don't get any damage taken. Um, and there, there you go. That's that. Uh, now we also have the new data download that came available with it. So we have Intelligence. Oh, by the way, some of these uh, apparently have changed in terms of attribute types. We have the Intelligence Paikuhan, SSR and TUR, STR Base Angel Goku, SR and SSR, Fizz Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, uh, SSR and TUR, Agility Perfect Cell Angel, SSR and Tech Angel Frieza, SSR and Tech SR King Cold SR. Paiku Han is Intelligence now. Free Goku is Strength now. Decent buffs to the cards. A translator will do a better job than I can from hobbling Google's versions together. Right. So there, thank you to Goresh for this information. Several units received changes to the JP version. Here's what's different. So on the PyCon, Picon changed from strength to intelligence type, which I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess we do need some, uh, I don't even know if you need more intelligence units in this game. And Picon, I don't know, I think he did pretty well on a, a strength team, but it's all right. 20% more attack and defense and HP uh, to intelligence types in his leader skill. Passive went from being attack plus 70% to all enemies and defense minus 30% to attack plus 100% and to all enemies defense minus 50%. So he gets a really nice buff, a 30% attack buff. He gained the link Supreme Warrior and Shattering the Limit in exchange for Prepared for Battle and Fierce Battle. Now, uh, I don't know how I feel about that. I guess I'm going to have to take a look real quick at the Supreme Warrior link because I don't I don't know exactly how, um, how what that is. Oh, it's one key for Supreme Warrior. So he loses that attack uh, link, which is not horrible um, just because he gets a 30% attack buff. But you, I prefer to have that link there for that way for everyone on the team. Uh, but whatever, he does still have two key for Shattering the Limit, which isn't horrible. Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku gives 20 more percent of HP attack and defense to physical types in his leader skill, sacrifices 5% of HP instead of 7%, which is 
Okay, that's not horrible. That's a nice buff. Um, HP restriction on the passive is removed. Oh, wow, that's awesome. That's big. And he gains four key, key plus four, and attack plus 120% at the start of the turn, as well as a medium chance to dodge enemies instead of key plus three and attack plus 100%. He gains shattering limit in exchange for fierce battle. So I think that's fair. I think a 20% attack buff and one key, one extra key is fair, but an H the HP restriction being removed, uh, let's go over and take a look at it really quick. So it's, um, let's say we're going to do the Goku. And I, I think it, I, I do think it's pretty a pretty fair thing for what they did to him. Um, just because it, it, the the HP, other than the HP restriction, everything else wasn't too over the top. Um, this one HP is 50% or above is a huge, huge deal. It really is. Because when that HP restriction is no longer there, that just means he's always going to be doing a ridiculous amount of damage. When the global side, when you drop below 50%, it's going to kind of suck. I kind of hope they follow up on the global side with maybe like a rebirth or, a, or an extreme Z awakening or something like that for him, but I don't think they will. So I'm a little bit upset about the, the Kaioken Goku. I think the PyCon is a little bit, like, isn't that horrible, but the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku, I feel like got a major, major buff. So I can see where the anger is there. Uh, Frieza Angel Leader Skill gives 20% more HP attack and defense to tech type. Replaces a rare chance to stun on super attack to raises attack. So I don't really, you know, it, that's cool. I think it has the Kaioken mechanic from what I, when I, uh, from what I read. Gains 100% attack and 80% defense when super attack is launched instead of only 90% atta attack. Links remain identical. Now, I don't know how I feel about that. That one is kind of like a mixed bag because that defensive buff means he's going to be tanking, but at the same time, who the hell runs Frieza? You know, I mean, like, I know I have. I have in the past. I'm not going to lie to you. I have run him in the past. But it's more for fun. But now that he gets 100% attack and 80% defense, he's actually pretty damn viable on a mono tech team. Plus, think about it. He does link well with the Angel Golden Frieza, well, not the Angel Golden Frieza, the Tech Golden Frieza. So the two of them are going to link well together. I've run them together. They're really awesome. Um, that makes him super viable on that team. And I mean, I'm pretty sure the Angel Frieza, Frieza Angel is uh, going to be on the revival category. So his Tech variant, um, yeah, Final Form Angel. So he is part of, oh, he's not, he does not part of the category system. Interesting. Was it, is this just out of date? Uh, but that's cool. So, it, he, so he's not actually part of any of the categories. So my bad on that one, but uh, that's still awesome. I mean, attack plus 90% to what he has now makes him a little bit more viable. I feel like if they ever add him to categories, then it's going to kind of be shit. But until then, I feel like it's it's still a little bit OP for what we got on Global. But I'm not too upset since he's not part of the category system. Cell Angel, leader skill gives 20% more HP attack and defense to agility types. Um, again, not, not that bad. Super attack now raises defense. That's not that bad. Keeps the same passive gains and a plus 5% defense per key orb obtained. Uh, and links are identical, so that's not, I'm not too upset about that. That's not horrible. Um, I really wouldn't use him too often. I still don't use him too often. Uh, so, I mean, he's there. It's not bad. It's a buff that I think was well-deserved due to the meta change from when it came out on the global side. Um, so um, that one's not that bad. Free-to-play Super Saiyan Angel Goku changed from Intelligence to Strength type. Leader skill goes from all types, uh, HP attack and third uh, HP and attack plus 30% to Super Strength type, key plus 2, HP attack and defense plus 50%. That's not bad. Super attack deals supreme damage to the enemy with no added effects instead of extreme damage and three turn attack. So that's not bad. Passive skill at the start of the turn is key plus four. Super high chance of attack plus 80% and defense plus 40%. Links remain identical. So I'm not upset about that. That's pretty fair. King Cold Angel leader skill lowers agility types uh, enemies defense by 20% instead of tech type. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Uh, super attack deals supreme damage to the enemy and lowers defense. Uh, supreme, uh, supreme and lowers defense instead of just dealing extreme damage. His passive decreases attack and defense of a detect enemy by 25% instead of only attack. Links remain identical. So that's not bad. He didn't, he didn't lose a lot. I think the only one that I'm really, really upset about is the Super Saiyan Kaioken and the Frieza. I think those are the only two that I feel like were shafted. Uh, PyCon is like teetering on that border and everyone else is fair. But Super Saiyan Kaioken, I feel like that that just because they removed that pass of the restrictive of the HP, that's really what killed it for me. Um, but if they if they didn't do that, I feel like everything else would have been fair with the Super Saiyan Kaioken. Or if they kept everything else the same with the Kaioken and just removed the passive, I feel like that would have been all right. But giving him that additional one key and a hundred a twenty percent attack buff on top of the um, on top of the the five the two percent HP loss reduction and um, then removing that, oh my gosh, he he's he's just so freaking awesome compared to the version we got. That's the only one that I like to super upset about. And the Frieza one, I feel like we got shafted because the 80% defensive buff, 
that just makes him so freaking viable and no one ever really runs him on global i feel like i would definitely well i would, I would have a higher chance to run him on a monotech team and if they ever add him to categories on a revival but that's what that is um i think we also have his here we just have the lr mighty mask and other world banner they are actually live right now so if you're gonna summon on them let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below um i'm a little bit upset about it at least the the kaioken goku them for the most part uh and then the angel and then the pycon but um for the most it's really the kaioken but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh, real quick, we go over here, maintenance announced for the global side. It's going on tonight, so make sure you log in and use up all your stamina if you're one of those completionists that likes to make sure that your stamina is used before the, the, that goes live. Um, so go ahead and do that. Otherwise, uh, just, you know, we're going to be out of the game for tonight. But that's it, guys. Thank you. Let me know again what you guys think down in the comments below about the new Other World Tournament. Uh, all that stuff is available if you want to go summon on it. I shall not be summoning on it. I'm probably not going to summon it on with JP set for a while. But um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for joining me here today. I'll catch you all in the comments below. Peace.